Okay, so I'm gonna take you through some examples of how I do my research for uh, people that I'm working with to help them turn their passions and, and hobbies into profit and see what competition is out there already, see how deep your market is, and see what the competition's doing that maybe you can do as well or even better. So I'm gonna use an example here, and I have a, a couple uh, really good examples from this. Um, but say you like to crochet. Uh, maybe you've been doing it for a couple months, maybe you've been doing it for a couple years, and you just like to do it as a hobby, uh, but you, you wanna take it to the next level and actually make a little money off of this thing that you do. So there's a couple things here. First of all, um, I typed in how to crochet. Uh, the most basic thing here and then uh, so first of all this is a free Google Chrome extension tool to enable this search volume here it's called keywords everywhere I highly recommend you get it I'll show you the search volume I'm gonna get more into keyword research in the next module but I just want to show you some entry-level ideas of how you can do some research so when I click on when I type in how to crochet here you can either look at just these videos or you can filter by channel. And then I like to filter this even more by view count. So what we can see here is it's going to organize the most popular channels around how to crochet. You can interchange this with whatever your hobby or passion is. So we can look at some of the top channels here that are around crochet and see how popular their audience is. Crochet Crowd is 913,000 subscribers. Craft Channel, Ruby Stedman, 612. Happy Berry Crochet, 686,000. All of these channels have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And this has a large amount of search volume. So even though this is a fairly saturated place, it shows you how popular this market actually is. So there's a massive opportunity here. So if we do some more research here, so for instance, how to crochet a blanket, these are some of the results that had popped up here. And I just clicked on a, on a couple of these. Uh, this one, for instance, from uh, Blossom Crochet, which is the first one to come up here. And I just wanted to go down and look at the description of this video and see what they've done for monetization purposes. And we can see a couple things here. So one, they have this uh, buy me a coffee and uh, it allows people to support their channel. So one thing that you can do is sign up for a service like buy me a coffee or even Patreon where people that like your channel, like your content, and support you and donate a couple dollars per month. It's very easy. Here they have buy super chunky yarn here. So they're selling the yarn that they use. This is probably an affiliate here. And then a couple other links to their other social media. This was another one that, uh, that showed up in the search here. Uh, how to crochet a fast and easy blanket. And they do a lot here. There's a lot of really great ideas here. So one is uh, they can you can find the free pattern here. And again, they're using a bit.ly trackable link here. I highly recommend this again so you know exactly how effective things are. And then they have some affiliate marketing options here. So they have an Amazon affiliate link, which you can sign up for free. You can subscribe to the monthly crochet subscription box. You can purchase their ebook of how to crochet, which is seven pounds. They've linked to other videos, a lot of different accessories, conversion charts. They've made it very easy to monetize. Even the equipment that they use to record the video, they have Amazon affiliate links down here. These are just a few of the endless possibilities that you can use to profit off of your hobby.